Hey everybody, Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness representing Bridge the Valley's Bike Rally August 14th. Today we wanted to talk to you cyclists about smart hydration. A savvy cyclist has the terms prehydration, hydration, and rehydration burned into their brain. To maintain a good cycling session, a rider should start the workout well hydrated, stay adequately hydrated during exercise, and finally rehydrate after exercise. To anticipate your water needs before exercise, Plan ahead and drink about two cups of water or other fluids two hours before you plan to exercise. This allows time for your body to take up and retain the water that it needs and to lose any extra water by forming urine that you can void before you exercise. Then, about five to 15 minutes before you start exercising, drink about two cups of water or a sport beverage. When you do this, your stomach works like a little built-in time-released water bottle that gradually releases fluid into the small intestine where it can be absorbed into the blood and then finally delivered throughout the body where it's needed. Also, keep in the mind that you can't hyperhydrate by drinking lots of water before you exercise. It doesn't work that way, so don't overconsume. The truth is most cyclists don't drink enough during exercise. It can be a challenge to determine how much fluid you need while you're exercising, but the rule of thumb is the longer the bout of exercise, the more it, important it is to take in more. If you've tested yourself for sweat loss by weighing yourself before and after the bout of exercise under average conditions, then you have a pretty good idea of about how much to drink to replace the losses during that bout of exercise. For every pound of the anticipated weight loss, you're gonna need to drink about two eight ounce cups of fluid. For a lot of people, this means drinking one to two cups of fluid every 15 minutes. Because we can handle dehydration, most of us can finish a bout of exercise somewhat dehydrated. To come back strong from a workout the following day, you need to rehydrate adequately during the next 12 to 24 hours. This can be monitored by making sure that the weight loss during exercise is replaced by adequate fluid intake. Again, for every pound of weight loss, you need to drink about eight ounces of water or other fluids. Since your body will not hold on to all the water that you consume, understand that you're not going to get as much in as you put out. Once again, guys, hydration is a pre, during, and post-ride game. Remember that your body is designed to move, so stay well hydrated before, during, and after your ride so you can stay in motion. Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness representing Bridge the Valley's Bike Rally August 14th. We look forward to seeing you guys all out there.